Hey guys, in the bikes today we have a lock by Funky Monkey, number one, fly trap. It's got a little little trap on there. It's pretty cool. It's a lock wood cylinder. Here's the key bidding. Make sure it works. And it's got a hang up coming back. Uh oh. Now it doesn't want to turn all the way to the left. To get the key out. This has definitely been heavily modified. There we go. Start with bottom of the keyway tension. There's a whole bunch of play in there. Look at that. Let's see if we can get it open. Uh, we're gonna use an antenna hook. And we use light tension. Nothing out of one, two with a click. Three with a click. Four, a slight click there. Three, feels like two. Yep, definitely two with a small click. Let me see, talk, go top of the keyway now. Start down here from the bottom. So definitely five with a small click and turn. Small click out of four, three. Three's bound up again. Five, definitely. Okay, that's good. Little click out of four. Three. Okay, big click there, dropped a couple of pins. Feels like four again. Nice click there. Put the tall hook in there. Clicks there, a little click out of two, another click out of one. Feels like two is still talking to me. Bottom of the keyway again. <clears throat> One's good. Feels like a little, got a little turn out of three. Four. Hmm. You have to go top of the keyway. Kind of rotate four. Okay, there we go. Let's see what else we got in here. Two now. Another click out of two, small little turn again. Oops. Okay, there's a definite hang up on three. Oops. Let's see what we got back here.
taller hook. Good, good. Okay, good. Five's good. Four's give me a little feedback, I think. There we go. Four. Three. This one's gonna be three, He's the last one. There we go. Oh, maybe. Uh okay. I'm not sure if I'm open or not. Look at this. This is crazy. Not sure if I'm open. Let me open this up to make sure I'm not caught on anything. Oh, yeah, we're open. Sorry. Make sure I don't turn that too much. All right. Wow, that was a uh, that was a crazy lock. Let's see if we can get this thing zoomed out. See what we got here. That was craziness. All right, we got a little clip here in the back. Let's push that straight out. I'm definitely going to use a shim on this bad boy. There is no telling what's in here. There's a lot of play, a lot of movement. So I'm expecting some T pinage stuff. That's in there. Let's get a follower. Keep him to face me. All right. Wow. Huge relief cut there. Huge. We'll take a look at it here in a second. One's a nice little spool. Two, a little serrated spool. Well, I guess it's almost a spool. Three. Sharp lipped spool, four's a little spool, and five's a double spool. Inside, he's got threading in one, looks like threading and undercutting in two, undercut in three. He's got this relief cut in four, and then threading in four, and then undercutting and threading in five. can see those hopefully really nice work look how deep that relief cut is or very deep all right let's see what we got upstairs tweezers okay number one Got a nice spool. Copper spring. Two. Almost a very commercial spool. Another copper spring. Three. Another spool. Whoops. Just jacked everything up. I think we're still good. Yep. <clears throat> a tiny, tiny spring on that one. Flip it around. I think I have these two key pins backwards. I'll have to go back and look now that I've dropped everything. Okay, another little, looks like a commercial spool in five. And then in four. Is a little repurposed key pin. Okay, this double spring was in five, and that was in four. All right, let's see if we get anything up top. Threading in five, nothing in four. Looks like we got threading in three. Yep, we do three. So three and five have threading. Everything else is standard up top. 
right, let's get you guys a little closer look. Like I said, I'm going to have to re-look at the key pins real quick. We can do that at the end because I don't think I showed you guys that all the key pins were in and working. Well, instead of the zoom in button, I hit the stop button. You guys can see zoom in stop. So we're going to cut, cut this together. It's okay. All right, you guys can see here. Number one, got a nice spool key pin with a uh, nice spool here on nice long spool on one. Two short spool. This is almost a commercial spool. Three is another long spool key pin and a uh, small spooled driver. And you got almost a I guess you could call that a spool, but it's almost just a wide serration. And then another long spool here, and then a double serrated or a double spool, however you want to call the key pin here. And almost another commercial spool. All the springs, you get kind of a double copper here, and then a short copper, and then another regular short copper, and then this looks like it's a double spring, uh, double spring, double copper spring. Let me put these back in here to make sure I had these key pins correct because I did drop, I dropped my, uh, I dropped the uh, tweezers on it. So let me put them back in here, show you guys the key was working. Definitely not the right one. One, two, three, four, and five. Let me see if the only ones I think I did wrong were four and five, but let me see. Oh, they were right. Alright, you guys can see everything was in there. Number one pin kind of looks high, doesn't it? Like if you push the key all the way in, but it lines up. Some definite goodness in there. A lot of hard work. All right, guys. Oh man, you didn't even see the top of number two. All right, guys. Well, this is Squint, and uh, again, that was. Where's this key at? That was Funky Monkey fly trap. Alright guys, this is Squint and I'll be on to the next lock.